What's up everyone? Welcome back to some more Ratchet and Clank. I know it's been um, almost a month since I last uploaded this, but I figured I started uploading these videos in um, June 1st, and uh, I decided I should actually get part 4 up before the end of June. Uh, yeah, I apologize for, um, you know, not being able to upload these videos. I actually, it's not that I haven't been able. I mean, I've been pretty busy with the museum and such, uh, like I said, and um, yeah, just uh, stuff that has been going on. However, I have pretty much, you know, I'm done with that, so I don't really need to worry about it anymore. Um, either way, we're back in Ratchet and & Clank, and uh, in this video I really, really hope you guys will check out because it's kind of an update on... Um, my entire channel. I may actually put this in the um, the, the title. Like um, I'll, I'll put that this is actually like a channel update. So here's the new gun that I've been talking about for like the previous seven episodes, and um, there's only been three previous episodes, but it's the blaster, and it is amazing. Um, so here in this planet, we've got two missions. We can head off to the left side or to the right side. Um, to the left is over here, and we can get a new gadget. And uh, there's actually a cutscene up here, so I'll get uh, done with this, and then I'll. Start updating Welcome you to guys the Captain Cork Fitness Course. If you're strong enough, fast enough, and clever enough to beat my fitness challenge, you will receive a reward from my head trainer. Simply make your way to the third island to complete the course. Good luck. Quirk Enterprises is not responsible for sprains, broken bones, snapped tendons, bruised egos, or accidental death incurred while taking the challenge. Excuse me, Captain, but we have more pressing issues. We urgently need your assistance. Clank? Yes? Do you notice anything unusual about Captain Quark? Well, I find the fact that he has a spring where his leg should be to be quite puzzling. And why do you think that is? Possibly an injury incurred while battling evil? This isn't the real Captain Quark, you numbskull. It's a robot. Oh. Alright, so um, I'm eating some fatty cookies right now. And um, I guess we'll continue right along here, but uh... I don't know, I kind of just wanted to let you guys know uh, what's going to be going on. I know I um, still haven't finished Pokemon Black and White. However, I, you know, I kind of wanted to finish that before the summer's over. Um, so that next school year, I can actually start on some easier Pokemon hacks and um, such. Because, you know, I kind of want to have to focus on school as well when that actually starts up again. So, I want to finish Pokemon Black and White before then. And uh, I just did a whole loop around this building for no apparent reason. But, uh, it's not really a building. It's more of a mountain, I guess? I don't know. Um, either way, so uh, yeah, I'll definitely try to get um, as many black and white videos out before the summer's over and uh, hopefully finish it up. I mean, I know I have to do Legendary still and that's a uh, pretty big effort there, so i um, really not sure how I'm going to handle that. Either way, um, I am leaving for Florida on July 4th, if you guys were not aware. Uh, I'll try to, you know, finish recording Pokemon, not, not Pokemon, um, Ratchet and Clank before then so that I can actually take the files on like a USB and um, upload them while I'm over there because uh, it's, it'll be cool. So um, while I'm over there, I'll actually have like really good internet. So I'm not sure um, what I'll be doing, but I'm pretty sure if I can get myself, uh, you know, get my hands on like my aunt's computer or something, um, you know, I won't have my own computer because I have a desktop, not a laptop, so I can't just really take it. Um, so I'll, I'll, you know, I'll be getting my Xbox or bringing it over there. And I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get out like a bunch of, you know, Xbox games if I feel like it. I'm really not sure. I may try to bring you guys some uh, more Black Ops Zombies because I really enjoy Black Ops Zombies for some reason. And um, I, I believe I'm not terrible at it. So, yeah. Um, I did also get myself a HD capture card recently. So, um, I may be releasing like a test of that sometime later this week. I'm really not sure as of now. Uh, but, yeah, it's pretty hip and cool. So, um... I'll be doing that while I'm in Florida, and uh, I guess now you guys know that I'm leaving for Florida on July 4th. Kind of uh, an inconvenient date, but uh, in a way, I don't know. It, it was kind of a cheap airplane ticket on that day, so I got it, and uh, now that's that's that. I'm leaving July 4th. So, um, yeah, this is being recorded on the day before it's uploaded. Listen it'll up, probably be uploaded balls. Thursday morning, but uh, here's this lady. What do you mean? We finished the circuit, ma'am. Oh, yeah, but it was weak. Weak, weak! When I was competing, I would devour courses like that for breakfast. <laughs> Bet that's not all. If it were up to me, you would drill, drill, drill for the rest of the day. But somehow you managed to impress that fool Captain Quark. Captain Quark knows about us? He certainly does. 
Und worst of all, he wants me to give you a prize for that ridiculous performance. Cool, what is it? I'm supposed to give you a swing shot, so you can sway to and fro like little insects. All right, let's see it. Not so fast. Today, the two of you disgraced my obstacle course, so I am going to make you pay. But that prize is ours from the captain. That's not fair. Too bad. Life's not fair. That's true. So, uh, we pretty much have to pay a thousand bolts for this. Really not that expensive, so... Sweet. Go ahead and pick it up. I if you don't have enough bolts for some reason... Stuff like this all the time. I... I don't know. Ha! Real men can swing without silly toys like that! The two of you make me sick! Congratulations on your there we go, we've got ourselves the swing shot. Shut up. Um, yeah, what I was basically saying is um, I'm recording this the day before it's being uploaded, probably. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll basically pile up these Ratchet and Clank videos over the next weekend. And uh, hopefully by when I leave, which I think is Monday, I'll have, like, you know, the rest of Ratchet and Clank 1 um, recorded so that I can upload it throughout the course of me being in Florida. Since I probably won't be able to release many black and white videos while I'm there. Um, I'll try to get, you know, Ratchet and Clank done recording, and, uh, maybe I'll do some, uh, you know, easier Pokemon hacks while I'm there. I'm really not sure. Uh, probably some more speed runs. I really don't know as of now. So, uh, yeah, I'll update you guys as uh, I do that, or actually I'll just make it spontaneous, you know. Just uh, random Pokemon hacks on my channel whenever you see them, and, uh, hopefully you guys will be able to enjoy that. So, yeah, I'll try to make up, like, a wrap-up Pokemon Black and White video until I get back from uh, Florida, um, but you know, I would really like to finish off the game before I left, but for some reason I'm really slow at uploading sometimes, my internet is not very reliable, and uh, I really don't want to keep making excuses for you, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, right down here you can jump down on this uh, ledge, and that's pretty cool, and uh, if you actually drop a little bit further down, uh, right here, we can see there's uh, some cool um, hallway kind of thing here, and there's actually a gold bolt right there that we can get right now, so let's do that, and, uh, once again, probably when I get back from the summer, I'll make a compilation video of all these gold bolts, um, yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to update you guys about, um, yeah, I guess that's it, the, uh, rest of the Leaf Green speed run will be uploaded, um, daily, I guess, I'm really not sure, maybe tomorrow I'll make, a will upload this, which is being uploaded, you know, tomorrow, but I'm recording it Wednesday night, uh, so, I'll be uploading this on Thursday, and probably a black and white video, so the Leaf Green speed run will continue tomorrow, which is gonna be Friday, Friday, and, uh, yeah, there's only about ten parts, I think, probably less, maybe, like, eight, um, so I'll upload those as it keeps going, and, uh, that's pretty much it. The rest of this video will now be me actually talking about the game, because, uh, I, for some reason, you know, I don't know, people just, uh, sometimes are like, you know, talk more about the game, talk more about something else. I don't get people. I really don't. I Sometimes I talk about the game and they complain because they talk too much. And sometimes I talk about my personal life and people complain that uh, I should talk more about the game. So I really don't know what's up with that. And I really don't know what people would rather watch. So I'll just, you know, mix in both. Yeah, that, that works out. And, um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, uh, something else that's personal that I, I don't know, I really... I was about to talk about it, but I guess I won't. Either way, uh, let's keep going through this game. As you can see, we already completed the side objective, which was getting the swing shot. We actually need that back in Iridia, um, so that we can get another gadget that we're going to need later on. So, uh, that's done with, and uh, now we'll be going for the main objective, which is actually getting an upgrade for Clank, I believe. So, all right, you know, if I remember correctly, basically. Um, these things shoot like rockets. I don't know, they're weird. Oh, I'm actually, you know, dying, so... There we go, uh, let's switch over to the blaster, and yeah, we can aim it with L1, it's really not that helpful, you, it's, hit it, okay, well, we hit it once, that's good enough, I guess, I don't know if you can actually, oh, we can blow that thing up, cool, um, you can break on these lampposts, and it gives you bolts and stuff, and, uh, I guess that's cool, but I really don't care about bolts that much, so, yeah, another thing that I've been doing lately is, uh, playing Mass Effect 2, I got that game, it was like 20 bucks at, uh, GameStop. It was actually 
It's a really good game. I don't know why it's only 20 bucks, but uh, I guess it's been out since 2009 or something, so... I don't know, I never played the first one, but I must say the second one is absolutely awesome. And, uh, Tharl's actually told me not to play the first one, so... I don't know, if any of you say otherwise, I mean... I mean, since Sense 2 is so good, I, I can't believe that one would be bad compared to it, so... I'll probably play it eventually, but, uh, for some reason, you know, I, I just played two first. And, uh, so far it's been really cool. It actually reminds me a lot of Ratchet and Clank, you know, because it have, like, the weapon wheel kind of thing. And it's basically a space kind of platforming game and it's just amazing it's more like an rpg than a platformer but still it's pretty awesome third person shooting stuff going on ratchet and clank so um uh, you know mass effect really good game definitely recommend ratchet, you guys check it out we saw on the info bot remember he knows captain quark hey you're that robot guy right no actually i build robots i myself am not a robot guy per se <laughs> nerd i like him so, now that we've cleared that up, what can I do for you? Well, we saw your Infobot announcement. You were with Captain Quark. We're trying to find Captain Quark. We thought you could help us. Your logic is commendable. However, I haven't seen Captain Quark since we shot that commercial. Say, do you run on standard XP-18 sister boards? Version 7.66. Back at ya. I may be able to help you out after all. How does a helipack upgrade sound? Upgrade? Natch. Since he's a 766, I could have the little guy up and flying in no time. Of course, uh, I'll just need my fee for service. Alright, so this fat dude here, big fat Ewan, is gonna want to sell us some, like, Windows 7 update for Clank or something. Okay, Let's just go ahead and get perfect. it, I guess. Wait. There we go. Now. Windows 7, all <laughs> yeah. hip and cool. You the man, Clank. You're welcome. Alright, so, I don't know, you know... Um, like I said, if you guys collect all the boats that I'm collecting and uh, basically do the same, really isn't that difficult to get um, all these upgrades and stuff. You know, you'll never, you're basically never be running out of money. So, um, with the helipack come a few new things. Uh, if you press R1, you can crouch, and then if you press the X button, you can actually fly like that. Or if you hold them both, or um, not hold, but if you press both while running, uh, you can actually do like a weird thing. And uh, there is a way to do like a side jump. Yeah, that. Um, I, I think you can do that without the helipack, but I don't know. I never really did it. Uh, there's a backflip, too. That's pretty cool, I guess. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it for the helipack. Um, so we'll use it to get up here and then uh, fly over. And I don't think there's anything over there, so we'll just be taking this elevator up. And uh, there's probably going to be more enemies. Uh, never mind. So yeah, again, Mass Effect 2, pretty awesome game, it really reminded me of Ratchet and Clank, and, uh, I don't know, I guess that's all I wanted to say for that. So, we'll keep going with this game, oh man, um, yeah, I haven't really played this in a while, but, uh, if, you, if I never told you guys, I actually beat this game, like, a month before I started recording it, and, um, it was really nostalgic for me, like, going back and seeing all that, and I know for all a lot of you that at least comment in these videos, you're like, Oh man, that's that's amazing! Like uh, nostalgia and stuff. I I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Uh, but uh, you know, it's been really cool making these videos, and I really wish it would get a lot more views than it's getting because it's. I mean, compared to my Pokemon videos, it's getting like nothing. It, it, my Pokemon videos, on average, I guess, get like fifteen thousand to twenty thousand views in like a week. I would say. Uh, but these Ratchet and Clank videos, I mean, I, I'm really not complaining because I enjoy making them, but they get about you know. 8,000 views or something, oh, probably a lot less, I'm really not sure, but uh, for some reason, when you start doing Pokemon and then you try to get out of it, it really doesn't go over that well, and I would just really enjoy it if uh, other people that watch my Pokemon videos would at least give like console games a try, because if you guys don't know, these actually take a lot more effort to upload on my part than uh, the Pokemon videos. Not really editing-wise, because I've definitely put more editing into the Pokemon videos, this is just, you know, putting both audio channels together and then, uh, uh, you know, producing it, but uploading wise, because my internet is absolute poop, um, this actually takes me like a good couple of hours to upload, and it's pretty terrible, so, uh, really appreciate if more people watch these videos, and I hope that we'll actually have time to finish off this mission, um, I, if not, I'll make the video longer, I really don't care, uh, with these Ratchet and Clank videos, what I want to try to do is just basically upload, um, a planet a day, or a planet per episode, so if they're longer than my usual 15 minutes, I really don't mind, I just want to have a planet per episode, so, yeah, either way, there's actually something that I've missed back here, so I'll be going back in just a second, there's probably, like, five comments instead of 
telling me that I missed this, but uh, here I am going back for it. As you can see, there's a gold bolt all the way down there, and uh, there's also a couple of cute puppies down there. So we can actually throw down a bomb, blow three of them up right off the bat. And uh, if we actually fly over here with the helipack, we can just avoid all the puppies overall. Look at that. Just blow them up, blow them up, and boom, there's uh, just this thing left. Uh, blow that up, and then we can wrench our way through the rest of them. So yeah, I did miss, uh, not miss, but I just went back to the square bolt. There we go. Last puppy down. Now we can go for that golden boat. And I have just received another PM on the Skypos. Um, so I'll be checking that up pretty soon. But, uh, let's see if I can actually get up here. Uh, no, it looks like we have to take the long way around. I don't care, I'll do it anyway. Let's fly up here. And then fly over here. Actually jump. Oh, some elite platforming skills in this. Not really. It's pretty easy. And there we go. We've got our, uh, this is like the eighth gold bolt we get overall, but the second one in this planet. So there we go. Gold bolt acquired. And now we can actually go back to that train that we were just at. Um, yeah. Pfft. I don't know why we just had to go all the way back here. I may edit that out, actually, uh, but I probably won't just because the narration wouldn't really be as fluent even though my narration I don't know I, re I really don't know I mean some people like I said know more about my narrations than I actually do so I don't know if they're bad or if they're good I think they're you know obviously since I've built up this fan base they can't be terrible or at least it must appeal to someone out there mainly you know I guess um, I guess the ages of 10 to 16, I, I would say. I don't know. There's probably a lot older people that play Pokemon, but I'm guessing that's, like, the core age. And there's, like, an age where kids apparently stop liking Pokemon because they think it's immature. And then, uh, I guess when they're around 14 or so, they start liking it again for some reason because they realize that it really doesn't matter what kids in your school say about you. It really doesn't affect your life at all, whether you play Pokemon or do other kind of childish games. I don't know. It's really kind of stupid for, uh, grown-ups to think of each other as immature for playing Pokemon and other games of that type. I don't know. That's the way I think, and, uh, that's why I'll probably be playing Pokemon until I'm very old. Um, but that's mainly because I grew up with it, and, uh, that's kind of what I think also about old people not using technology. Like, I know there's some old people that definitely adapt. Like, my grandparents in Florida, they definitely, like, use computers. They have Facebooks and everything, but, uh, grandparents here in Puerto Rico really don't like technology for some reason. They're, uh, I, I don't... I don't think they don't like it, but, uh, they're just not as lenient towards it, I guess, as the ones over there, but, oh god, I just stepped on a landmine, but, uh, I don't know, it's just because this generation has grown up having laptops since their childhood, I guess we'll be using them when we're older, and, uh, there'll be something a lot newer that the kids use, but. Lieutenant, my sources tell me you're behind schedule. You must prepare this planet to be harvested for our new world. Yes, sir. As you can see, everything is moving along as planned. I'm counting on you, Lieutenant. And as your former commander can tell you, I don't take disappointment well. Yes, sir. I won't fail. Drek is destroying yet another planet. Yeah, but if that's the kind of help he's getting, I don't think we have anything to worry about. You should not underestimate Chairman Drek. He is quite dangerous. We must find Captain Quark. Look. That lieutenant doesn't seem so tough. Let's take him out ourselves. Perhaps we can persuade the lieutenant to tell us where Drek is. Haha, <laughs> now you're talking. Alright, so there we go. We've got a new planet acquired, and uh, that about wraps up this video. Probably a little bit longer than the rest, and uh, yes, I did miss a gold bolt. I realized that. Um, I'll go back for it when I do make the compilation video, but as for today, uh, that is all. We've explored pretty much the whole planet. There's that right there, but uh, we'll go back there later. So... That is it for today, guys. Uh, I guess next episode will be uploaded when I'm in Florida. So look out for that probably July 5th, 4th or 5th. I'm not sure. Probably 5th. Uh, and uh, that's it for today. So next time we head off for the logging site in Eudora. I'll see you guys next time.